those October eyes Couldn't hold one lie Got my heart so wide Like windows in stereo What's up, everybody? My name is Alt Bloom, and this is my creator session. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out online slash outside today. We are up in the hills somewhere. I cannot disclose the location. You are married for a hangover. Put some gasoline in my motor, girl. I buy a ring if I could afford to it right now. October rides. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever met or experienced an artist that you were so inspired by or excited about? That was Alt Bloom for me. And while I really do experience that a lot with the artists that come on this series, there was something different about Ethan Thompson, whose stage name is Alt Bloom. So, as one would, I went down this Alt Bloom rabbit hole and just cannot get enough of his music and vibe. He's got this cool blend of alternative R&B with a bit of singer-songwriter mixed in there. But what makes me really drawn to him is the way that he integrates the outdoors into the experience that he provides his fans. That said, what I really respect about him as a creator is the authenticity that's behind that mission. He grew up in Whitefish, Montana, and the outdoors has always been a place of refuge for him. Whether it's skiing, rock climbing, maybe skateboarding, it is where he feels the most at home. But his passion is really music. And combining those two things was the only thing that made sense. And that is really what Alt Bloom is about. I get high sometimes and get my chin uplifted, set the world in flight. Uh. When I've been stuck down wingless and make everything feel late When everything gone wrong, I get high sometimes, yeah That's how it goes, yeah She's kicked me in the friend zone, yeah After months of telling me different, kicking at the back door Trying to work on a smile I'm missing Well it is what it is and it ain't what it ain't All up in smoke, yeah uh, Well the sun gonna shine and the clouds gonna rain That's how it goes now I get high sometimes, uh Get my chin uplifted Put the world in flight, yeah Well I've been stuck down wingless Make everything feel light, uh when everything gone wrong, I get high sometimes, yeah, that's how it goes. Now, teacher telling me to work on my grades, it's all, all good. Someone threw a bottle from the back of my face, it's all, all good. Made a couple hundred million mistakes, yeah, it's all, all good. Good. Walking with a hunger belly spilled the whole plate It's all good cause I get high sometimes yeah. Get my chin uplifted uh, Set the world in flight yeah. When I've been stuck down wingless now I'll make everything feel light yeah. When everything gone wrong I get high sometimes yeah. This how it goes Well, it is what it is And it ain't what it ain't All up in smoke, yeah Well, the sun gonna shine And the clouds gonna rain This how it goes, yeah This first song I just played was a song called Hi Sometimes Out of all the records I'm playing today It is the latest song that I wrote um, So that is the first time I've played it live In front of people that aren't here You don't see them 
It's a song, uh, oftentimes I say when I go in and uh, am working in sessions, I'm a very quick writer and I like to get through ideas very quickly. Uh, and I throw things out very quick and I hold on to things very quick. With this record, it was, uh, I'd been in the session, been in the studio, uh, been going on for uh, two, two songs and both of them, I was like, yeah, those are okay, those are okay. I got home, had dinner. And uh, I was like, man, I got to get one more in. So went uh, to just the studio I have in my house, popped in, went through samples for a bit and found one and then ended up writing that song. And then that day felt like it was a victory, but it took till song three to get there. Um, that's always something I tell myself, like the, the rule of three on songs. Uh, every time I go into the session, especially if I don't get a song right off the bat, it's time to do it. Uh, this next song I'm going to play is a song called Old Kick Drum. It's my manager's favorite. Uh, <laughs> and it's a, uh, it's a song that I actually wrote seven years ago. So I wanted to put those back to back, mainly for me, just because I think it's strange that they're so far apart from each other and they are both coming out so close to each other. And uh, it goes like this. Uh. I fell in love with a better dream I took the long way, ripped up my feet Had my world yelling for retreat Made my mistakes and enemies But I know that I'm still good Even though I've done some bad Oh Lord, I need this now more than I ever have I know that I'm still good Even though I've done some bad But now I'm swinging harder than I ever have Thank you so much. That song is called uh, Old Kick Drum. And again, as I was saying before, it was written about seven years ago. Um, and it's been a song that's stuck with me for a long, long time. And I'm so stoked. It's finally going to be coming out uh, very soon. It might be out by the time this is out. Uh, and it's a song that's stuck with me through all these years of uh, going through various projects that I was in, uh, lots of moments of doubt. And uh, it's funny because when I wrote it, I thought I was going through some serious doubt. And since then, I've had even more... Uh, dramatic situations go down where it was a reminder to me where I came back to it. That was just like, uh, just what it says, keep running, keep pushing forward. Um, and, uh, wrote it with a, uh, wrote it with a good friend whose father just passed away. So it also feels like the right time to put out shout out mayor, our boy, uh, one of his favorites. 
this song for me, yeah, has always been a song that I've carried with me through uh, through the last seven years, and um, especially at the, after this last year. Uh, I think especially for artists, it was a very confusing time. You lost connection with your audience. Uh, a lot of times lost connections with the uh, with the people that you created with um, and lost a connection with yourself because the world just was completely in a toss over the last year. So I felt like it was something good to put out as a statement for me um, to uh, put those shoes back on because we're, we're all back to business now. We're hanging out. It's pretty sick. I'd say one of the reasons the song was probably sitting around for so long was because A, I was in an, uh, a group that was touring for a while. Uh, and then when I came back to my project, it totally wasn't the right uh, tempo for what I was doing for Shout Out Astronaut Complex, my whole EP last year. Um, and right, basically what happened is I wrote a song uh, that was that felt like it was in that genre, and then we the old kick drum uh, came up again. Uh, my old or my new manager had a, my new manager and oldest manager actually had both shouted out that song for a long, long time. And uh, yeah, it was honestly the timing of everything is the reason why I wanted to put it out. Um, the timing for me and my project uh, feels like it's a big rebirth section for me. It feels like we basically took a year hiatus, um, and yeah, that's why I felt like it was the right time to to finally bring it to fruition. Um, and uh, with that said, I'm going to switch over to my guitar. Just shine your light, don't fade away. Stitch is the price of yesterday Dress up your bones, hide all the shame I'll hold you close, don't be afraid oh, yeah. Bless my skin, kiss my soul You've got wings, this I know Take me high and fly away Yeah, I'm alive now Too young to break Too old to bow And I mean it when I say This world is gonna change Yeah, I'm one of the lost boys now I mean it So mean it Walk on the street, soak up the rain Just passing time, not here to stay uh, yeah. She's 25, far from the grave uh, She can beat the rules just for the day Yeah, I'm one of the lost boys now Too young to break, too old to buy Wings, this I know. Yeah, yeah. Bless my skin, kiss my soul. You've got wings, just let go. Oh, yeah, I'm one of the lost boys now. Too young to break, too old to bow. And I mean it when I say, this world is gone. That song is called Fly Away, uh, and it was a song that I wrote during uh, this whole last year when I was locked up uh, in Montana. I actually uh, went from, yeah, like right when everything started in March, I just went straight home and uh, basically moved back into my childhood bedroom 
and uh, lock myself up with uh, guitars and uh, documentaries. Was really obsessed with the Supersonic Oasis documentary at the time, uh, and uh, ended up writing the song over the course of like two days. And it felt like it was a little bit of a throwback for me in spirit as well because uh, I was back home. I bought a motorcycle. Uh, and it felt like it, it felt like it just like matched that whole tone. Whenever I play that song, I just think about sitting up in my bedroom and I had like this little janky setup uh, while I was there. That was literally like uh, two boxes with a piece of plywood on top of it. And then I had my laptop and my speakers. Uh, and uh, that is enough to be able to create a song. Uh, it's funny when people ask me what that song is about. Uh, I'm like, it's, it's about a sense of being free. But to be honest, when I was writing it, it was just every line that came felt good to me and felt right to me. And I just followed that. I didn't have anyone there saying that doesn't make sense or I don't care. And uh, so I was able to, yeah, just really create something that uh, felt like it was uh, a piece of time to being home. My whole thing has been since I started this project that I wanted to have everything be outdoors. Montana's where I'm from. I'm a ma uh, mountain boy, born and raised. Uh, and uh, when you're doing music, you realize that you actually are hopping from city to city to city to city, especially when you're touring. And when you're uh, recording, you're going from closed room to closed room to closed room to closed room. So something that I really wanted to do when I was coming into this project was uh, make sure that I could ground it in the outdoors so I could stay outdoors. So just like today, we get to shoot outside um, and enjoy some sun. Uh, and it's something that, yeah, matters matters a lot to me. Actually, all my most of my music videos, I think all of them have all been shot outside. Uh, and uh, it's something that brings me peace. You know, backpacking and hiking is something that has always uh, always leveled me out. L.A. can be such a confusing place. There is a uh, opinions everywhere. Um, and being from a small town where you wouldn't hear as much when you came here, it was a lot. So being able to step out and reset in the woods has always been something that uh, that keeps me grounded. And I feel like I find my truth out there um, as much as I do in a studio. So I started this project, uh, released the first song at the end of 2019. Um, and uh, when I came in to do this project, honestly, a big thing for, for me was that I had spent uh, so long in L.A. songwriting. I went to school before that. And I honestly had so many things that just had my name on it that I wanted a fresh start. Uh, it was the big reason why I switched. I don't hate my name. Nothing to do with that. I just want a fresh start. And I want something that to me meant uh, city versus nature. So I literally just kept slamming words together that I liked that represented both those things for me. Um, and end up with all bloom. It was like a three day process of just sitting there like the classic, uh, the classic uh, band thing of people just throwing names in until something sticks. It's exactly what I did, but I just did it by myself uh, and writing words together. And the second all bloom came out of my mouth, it was 10 minutes later, I was on the phone with my A&R going, this is the name of my project. It totally matches the sound that I've been chasing and uh, the things that I've been doing. Because when I started that project, I'd really fallen in love with Mac Miller. I'd been listening to him like nonstop uh, swimming is I think just one of the greatest albums. I, I um, pretty much any time I'm in a negative mood, I just listen down to that once and I feel uh, feel refreshed and I understand what I'm doing in life again. Actually, prior to so uh, saying shout out Mac, uh, it was a huge influence because I was basically locked in the studio for like three months prior to even making it making a project name to this. And uh, yeah, all bloom when it came across. It didn't change the sound. It uh, actually just married the sound really well to what we had been doing. Like we had October Eyes, uh, Damn Baby, and a handful of other songs that it just really felt like it it pulled the whole picture together. And something for clicks for me, something that you don't know. You know, you hear that like Post Malone and Childish Gambino just literally got their names by typing it into like a rap generator name. Uh, I tried that as well. It didn't come out good. Uh, but yeah, All Bloom was just something that personally stuck for me and it seemed to really match what I was doing uh, at the time. So we'll go, I'm gonna switch to, the, uh, switch to the next song. I think I'll need to tune up one more time. We are all tuned up uh, and this next song is called Beautiful. If your mama don't say that you're beautiful, well of course you are. Walked another long mile, it's a miracle Go and brush it off yeah. Well, the rain gonna come and the tears gonna fall But after it all, if your mama don't say that you're beautiful Well, of course you are, yeah, of course you are Been a hot day, been a short night Get a hot strung, little too tight Gotta sink or swim, gotta go fight Every damn minute of this whole damn life when the levee breaks, gotta move on To a new beat, to a new song That was last week, this is new love And stepping on new today Why don't you tell me about it? My shoulder here to lean on If your mama don't say that you're beautiful Well, of course you are 
Walked another long mile, it's a miracle Go and brush it off Yeah Well the rain gonna come and the tears gonna fall But after it all, if your mama don't say that you're beautiful Well of course you are, oh of course you are, yeah Well some days the light bulb breaks and the dark is all I can see And some days the tires go flat like the road is laughing at me And some days it's why did this happen, why it always gotta happen to me Yeah, some days are just days, it's okay Why don't you tell me about it, yeah. My shoulder here to lean on If your mama don't say that you're beautiful Well, of course you are Walked another long mile, it's a miracle Go and brush it off, yeah Well, the rain gonna come and the tears gonna fall But after it all, if your mama don't say that you're beautiful Well, of course you are, yeah. of course you are Oh, oh, oh Yes, we are. Oh, 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 yes, we are. Oh, 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 yes, we are. Oh, 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 oh. If your mama don't say that you're beautiful, well, of course you are. Walked another long mile, it's a miracle. Go and brush it on. Well, the rain gonna come and the tears gonna fall But after it all, if your mama don't say that you're beautiful Well, of course you are Oh, of course you are Oh, 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 oh yes we are Oh, 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 oh yes we are Mmm, that one turned into a soul song to sing so uh, that one was called Beautiful, uh, and that was another one of the my classic stories of it was the fourth song or third song of the day, something like that, and uh, was in there putting in the swings, putting in the work, putting in the swings, putting in the work, everything was garbage, took a break for about an hour, came back in, same thing, played through samples, and then that song uh, ended up coming through, and I ended up like staying in the studio till midnight recording the vocals and uh, calling everyone the next day, which is a rare thing you do. Generally, when a song feels good, you're like, don't say anything to anyone until like three days later. But that was a song where that night and the next day, I was already sending it out. I was like, I just love this song so much. Um, and it speaks so much to things that I've been through. Uh, it reminds me a lot of old kick drum. I feel like I write like uh, like four or five different styles of lyrics. And that one, uh, that one is one of those ones where it's like, pick yourself up, keep going, don't stop moving. Um, and it's cool because like uh, I wrote it at my house, uh, made a demo of it, sent it to uh, my team, and then uh, sent it off to uh, uh, a producer to work on it. And it's cool when you can uh, make something work like that. It's one of the reasons why I love that I can produce at least minimally, maybe not as good as Esteban, uh, but I love that I can produce because I can, uh, whenever an idea comes through, I can just lay it down rough, put the thing together uh, and then set it off and see uh, see you can add their uh, extra flavor to it. When I produce on my own, I think one of the main things that I do is I look for chords. Chords is always the number one place that I start at. Uh, and uh, I'll literally uh, go through Splice or I have buddies send me uh, sample packs. I know pretty much what I'm going to play on the guitar um, at this day and time and I know that I spend a lot of time with my guitar. So when I go into the studio, I like to mix it up and, and throw in completely different things. So that's why I like to pull from random areas, whether it's listening to uh, listening to instrumentals, uh, getting packs from friends or anything like that. And I'll just sit there and click through until I have that moment, that unconscious moment where something I'm like, there's something in that. There's something in the words that I just sang. Uh, there's something in the clip that I did. And literally with this one, beautiful, I was playing through. I hit a sample. Uh, and the first thing that came out is, if your mama don't say that you're beautiful, well, of course you are. And I was like, boom, that's a song. Uh, and chased it down. Um, but yeah, I'd say that's how, uh, how I work when I'm on my own, is just sitting there experimenting, 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 throwing stuff at the wall until something sticks. And when it sticks, you send it out to other people to finish. <laughs> Spell me like a true professional. Yeah. We'll fix it in post, right? Uh, cool. Um, one of the main reasons I started producing 
uh, was because when I came to Los Angeles, uh, I was didn't know anybody, and I needed to be able to make a good vocal demo. So I would go to my buddies who did produce and just sit and watch what they were doing and ask them questions. Um, so I could figure out how to produce my vocals. So it sounded nice. So if I was sending something out, cause at the time, like EDM top lines were what was literally feeding me, uh, and keeping bread on the table or more like rice and beans on the table, total necessity. Uh, and I feel like honestly me playing instruments is out of necessity that I consider myself a singer and a writer. Um, and then everything else is to support that everything that I do. So when I'm producing, it's to support that. Um, when I'm, uh, yeah, when I'm playing instruments is to support that. Um, and it's all out of necessity, but it's the necessity is, I think, uh, what breeds a lot of, a lot of, uh, good things. And I think that, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm stoked that I can produce now at the level that I can, because it's helped me like tenfold. If something's messed up, I can get it fixed very quick or piss off you by doing 13 versions of it. <laughs> huh? It's a blessing and a curse. I also way overthink, uh, a lot which is why it's so relieving to be in the studio and be like, I'm not going to think I'm turning it off. I'm turning it off. And then once a song comes through, you kind of follow it and it's so therapeutic and it's a high that we all chase in general to get a good song that clicks. But to me, it definitely is a form of therapy to just turn that thinking, analyzing side of the brain off. I think one of the things that I appreciate most about Alt Bloom is that when I listen to his music, I feel like he's pushing me to experience something new not just with music. And this is not a joke, but after I saw his music video, which we'll link below for his song, West Coast, I went out and bought a longboard. Haven't mastered it yet, but I am working on it. He has this cool new song called Fly Away. And after I watched that music video, I wanted to go hang out in the middle of nowhere, wearing some Carhartt overalls, high top vans with a boom box in hand. And I just wanted to have a dance party in the middle of the mountains. I think what he is doing is especially cool because he's using his passion, music, to influence people and culture to respect and experience the greater outdoors. Let us know in the comments what your favorite moments, songs, stories, and lessons were from this session. Moving to Los Angeles, I feel like it's something every musician has to think about at some point, uh, depending on what music you're working on. But you really you have you have a handful of options. It's getting broader. But uh, moved here certainly just to do music. Uh, that was the only reason that I would come to Los Angeles. It's a very crowded city. But you learn to love it. And the thing that I love about Los Angeles, uh, being that I am from an outdoor place, is that literally like four hours north, you can be way, way out of the city and in some of the best mountains in the world in the Sierras. Um, you go two hours south, you're in Joshua Tree, which is uh, just a desert wasteland. Uh, I go up to Big Bear, go up to Mammoth. There's so many things that are so nearby here that uh, that keep me going. And uh, yeah, and it, it, out of any other city, if New York, you're kind of locked in. Nashville, you're kind of locked in. So LA made sense for me just out of the location, the ability to get out and also out of the extreme depth of talent that is literally like, you can't run out of them here. There's, you're, you're going to meet a new person every week if you just keep going and going and going and going. And everyone's, there's so many good people out here. So it's a great place. Uh, so I'm going to play a song called October Eyes. Um, uh, this was off my EP Astronaut Complex and I'll talk more about it when it's over. All the lack of symmetry fits you so perfectly, lady Yes, I fall with the clothes, take them up, hold me close, baby Those October eyes keep me up all night, yeah Darling, my sunrise is when you go, yeah If God spends extra time, didn't waste a single dime on you, yeah so bless your arms, bless your breath Singing songs to my chest As we dance the crowd away, yeah Do, 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 yeah Do, 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 yeah Do, 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 yeah Do, ooh, ooh, Say you hate your little nose Girl, I love that little nose Always, yeah the way you sway in those jeans means so damn much to me, yeah you do Those October eyes couldn't hold one light Got my heart so wide like windows in stereo, oh yeah 
You, I'm married for a hangover Put some gasoline in my motor Girl, I buy a ring if I could afford to yeah. Right now, yeah You, I'm married for a hangover Put some gasoline in my motor Girl, I buy a ring if I could afford to yeah. Right now, October rides Yeah, yeah So it's funny because that song was actually written about a stranger that I met at a party. Uh, I met her. I don't even think I got her number. Met her, left, found her Instagram, and then literally was with my buddy and just wrote a whole song that was an imaginary uh, imaginary song about falling, uh, falling me and this girl. It was like the whole aesthetic of her Instagram was like this old school thing. And literally just used it as like a jumping point for fun to write a whole imaginary tale uh, about falling for somebody. And uh, it was funny because people were like, what does Octoberize mean? What does Octoberize mean? Lots of times when I write lyrics, uh, yeah, I don't know what it means when I write it. And then I put, then I put the uh, meaning to it uh, afterwards. And for Octoberize for me, after I said it and was sitting there thinking about it, I was like, oh, it's a mix of two things. A, in the fall, everyone gets cuffed up. That's when everyone starts dating. And uh, also the look of someone's eyes when they're falling for you. And lastly, green and, uh, uh, green and brown eyes, which was the color of the gal's eyes, who I literally don't even know her name and never saw her again. So thank you for that song, Stranger. Um, and uh, yeah, I know that we wanted to hit a little bit on uh, what it's like going into the studio uh, when you're going into working with producers every day. And it's funny because as a, as a creative and as like a chronic overthinker, uh, the main thing I have to do when I go into sessions is just push through, smile, nod, shake the hand, don't think about anything. I never look up who I'm working with before I go in because I just don't want to know. Um, they're all, everyone's a human being. Um, and we're all on the same page that day of writing this fresh song together. So I just go in there uh, and I literally am like, yo, start playing some chords, start playing something like that. And you start working that up from scratch. Um, and then you just follow your own, you really have to follow your own horn. Like I, when I'm in there, I can't really listen to what anyone's saying is works or doesn't work. I just have to go off of what my instinct is. Cause at the end of the day, I'm going to be the one singing it. Um, and especially if you're in the room with people who you find out prior are important you want to take their opinion into consideration but I think it's so important as an artist and as a writer to really stick hard uh into what you personally feel because that thing that you don't fix in the song is likely going to be bothering you for years to come you're gonna be like man if I just adjusted that little thing the way that I wanted it uh I think that that uh, record would have clicked in a in a different way not that everyone's opinion on music uh is really based on what their own personal likes are it doesn't mean it's right it doesn't mean it's wrong it doesn't mean you're right it doesn't mean you're wrong it just means you like what you like uh, and to really follow that all the way through has been something that's been a lesson that I have to learn over and over and over and over again. It's to, to follow that, uh, follow going, you know what? I just like it. And that's just what it is. And, uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, I feel that way every time I go into a session because you go into with people who have produced all sorts of different things. People have done pop records, people who do jazz records, people who do whatever screamo records. I don't think I've done a screamo record, but, uh, so you just go in with your, uh, with your best foot forward every time. Guys, thank you so much. Once again, my name is Alt Bloom, uh, and uh, this is my creator session. You can find me anywhere. Just search Alt Bloom. That's A L T space B L O O M. It's probably written down below me somewhere over here. Uh, but uh, you can find me anywhere. Uh, most of the songs that I played today, uh, besides October Eyes, uh, are either just released or uh, about to be released. So go scope them. Literally just search Alt Bloom anywhere, and you can find me. Um, yeah, pretty much anywhere. I think besides on, uh, I am taken, so you can't find me on Tinder, but uh, everywhere else, search it and you'll find me. Cheers, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out.